Hey everybody, welcome back to The Wolf Pit. Today I'm making goulash, but this isn't the American style goulash with ground beef and elbow macaroni that most of us are used to eating. This is a Polish style beef goulash which has bite sized chunks of chuck roast, peppers, onions, and mushrooms simmered to melt in your mouth perfection in a rich and savory sauce. It's very simple to make and very delicious. So let's get started. Let's get started by seasoning the chunks of chuck roast with salt and black pepper. You can find a full printable copy of this recipe and many more at thewolfpit.com. And now add some all-purpose flour. And this flour must have been vegan because it did not want to come out of the measuring cup and get mixed in with the meat. Once you finally coerce the flour out of the measuring cup into the meat, get your hands in there and give it a good mix. And like I always say, when you mix things with your hands, they taste better. And make sure all the meat is nicely dusted with flour. Now I'm adding olive oil to a preheated cast iron skillet over medium heat. If you don't have a cast iron pan, that's fine. Just use the heaviest bottom pan you have. That's another great thing about this goulash. It's all prepared in one pan. One pan makes for an easy cleanup. Now shake off any excess flour and add half of the meat. Spread it out into a nice even layer and let it sit there for about two minutes to form a nice crust. After two minutes, flip all the pieces over and let them go for two more minutes. After four to five minutes, the meat will have a nice crust. Now remove the meat and add the second batch of meat and repeat the same process. Once all the meat has been browned, you're going to have bits and pieces stuck to the bottom of the pan. This is called fond, which will come off the bottom of the pan as we add moisture and add lots of flavor to the dish. Now add sliced yellow onion, red and yellow bell pepper, or you can just use green bell pepper. Now add sliced mushrooms, give everything a good mix, and let it cook down for about five minutes over medium heat. Now mix in fresh chopped garlic. Add the meat back to the skillet, followed by tomato paste, chicken broth, Hungarian paprika, and salt and pepper. and then give it a good mix. And if it's a little thick at this point, add a little bit of water. Give it a good mix, bring it up to a boil, cover, reduce the heat to medium low, and let it simmer for two and a half to three hours or until the meat is fork tender. While our goulash is simmering, let's make some potato pancakes to have with it. You guys know me, I'm lazy. So I'm gonna be using a bag of already shredded potatoes. If you want to shred your own, or better yet, use leftover mashed potatoes, that'll be even better. To the shredded potatoes, I'm going to add two large whole eggs. Now I'm going to add one medium yellow onion that I've grated up. I know what you're thinking, and you're right. He took the time to grate the onion, but used bag shredded potatoes. He really is lazy. Trust me, people. If they had grated onions in a bag, I would have used them too. And now I'm going to season with salt and pepper. And finally some all-purpose flour to hold everything together. Now get your hands in here and give it a good mix. And like I always say, when you mix with your hands, it makes the food taste better. In a medium skillet over medium heat, I'm going to add olive oil and a little butter. Mix it around until the butter's melted. And now add a quarter cup of the potato mixture. And then press it down into a nice even layer. Or you can spank it like I did, like it did something wrong. Why I do the things I do, I don't know. Now let the potato pancake pan fry for four to five minutes or until it's nice and golden brown. Then give it a flip and let it go for four to five more minutes. Now 
Once they're golden brown on both sides, place them on a cookie sheet into a 250 degree oven to stay warm while you cook the rest. Now let's go through the cooking process one more time real quick. A little bit of oil, a little bit of butter, mix it around to melt the butter, a quarter cup of potatoes, press them down nice and flat, or you can spank them like I did, why I don't know. Let it go four to five minutes or until it's nice and brown. Flip it over and let it go for four to five more minutes. And spank it one more time, just for good measure. And there you have it. Crispy on the outside, moist and creamy on the inside, potato pancakes. Now you can serve these as is and they'll be very delicious. Or you can serve them with applesauce and or sour cream and they'll be even better. After simmering for three hours, the meat is fork tender and everything is cooked down. Now I'm going to thicken it up a bit with a little bit of cornstarch slurry, which is equal parts cornstarch and cold water. Mix it in until it's thickened. Now I'm serving it over classic potato pancakes or you can serve it over noodles or dumplings. And if you don't want to use beef for this recipe, you can also use pork. And there you have it, Polish style beef goulash served over classic potato pancakes with a little bit of sour cream on top. This turned out absolutely delicious. The meat was melting your mouth tender, the sauce was rich, savory, and absolutely delicious. Thank you all very much for watching. I hope you give this a try. Please don't forget to like this video and subscribe and I'll see you soon.